Hello everyone, I am your psychology buddy here to make psychology easy and interesting for you all. If you enjoy my videos, don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and hit the bell so you don't miss out. And if you face any kind of difficulty, write in the comment box, I will try to solve it. So today we are going to study Vygotsky's socio-cultural theory of cognitive development. So, Lev Vygotsky was a Russian psychologist and uh, the socio-cultural theory of cognitive development emphasizes that general learning is deeply rooted in social interactions and cultural contexts. So, Vygotsky told that children learn things or gain knowledge through social interactions or through their culture. Let us now learn the important points. Learning through social interaction. Vygotsky believed that children developed cognitively by engaging with more knowledgeable individuals, parents, teachers or peers. This interaction helps children acquire new skill and knowledge. For instance, when a child learns to solve a puzzle with a sibling's guidance, they are not just completing the tasks but also developing problem solving abilities through collaboration. Let me give you another example. So, let take an example of a baby girl who want to learn how to brush her teeth. At first, मतलब वो देखा अपने मम्मी पापा को उसके siblings, elder siblings को कैसे वो brush करते थे. So, uh, one day she picks the up the brush and puts the toothpaste on. And uh, at first, it is very uh, it is very normal or it is very common. She cannot acquire the full knowledge about how to brush her teeth. So what her parents does is uh, her mother or her brother or her father teaches her how to hold the brush then uh, toothpaste kaise lagate hai brush mein and how to brush against her teeth and how to clean her face after brushing her teeth so after few days of trials after like uh, after few days of like teaching the child how to brush her teeth uh, then she learns to brush her teeth alone only so uh, here here her parents taught her how to brush her teeth which is a kind of social interaction with a more knowledgeable peers so here vygotsky told that we learn things by social interacting with others or with more knowledgeable peers to acquire new skills this is the most important point that is zone of proximal development so zone of proximal development hota kya hai the zdp represent the gap between what a child can do independently and what they can achieve with assistance imagine a child learning to ride a bicycle they might struggle alone but succeed with a parent support the supportive phase is the zdp where optimal learning occurs here you can see in this drawing this blue portion uh, is the skills which the child can do on her own or and this is beyond his or her reach this this big one and the middle one a child cannot do alone but if he or she gets assistance of her, of the more knowledgeable peers or her parents or her teachers then she can gain the knowledge of acquiring the skill or something so this is known as zdp this is a zone you can see this is the zdp so imagine a child riding her bicycle at first matlab उसका फर्स्ट टाइम है टू राइड अ बाईसाइकिल सो वी कैन नॉट लीव द चाइल्ड विद दैट बाईसाइकिल अलोन ऑन अ रोड बिकॉज वी नो देयर माइट बी सम मिस हैपन और एन एक्सीडेंट बिकॉज वो फर्स्ट टाइम सीख रहा है ना इसलिए सो दिस इज बट इफ वी लाइक इफ द चाइल्ड इज सपोर्टेड बाय हर और हिज पेरेंट्स लाइक हाउ टू राइड अ साइकिल वेन टू ब्रेक कब दबाना है और स्पीड कब इंक्रीज करना है डिक्रीज करना है एवरी थिंग इफ हर पेरेंट्स टीचर्स आर हाउ टू पेडल एंड एवरी थिंग दैन द चाइल्ड कोड इजीली लर्न हाउ टू राइड अ बाईसाइकिल एंड थर्स इट्स लाइक अ चाइल्ड हैज़ द कैपेबिलिटी टू लर्न द थिंग बट द थिंग इज दैट शी कैन नॉट लर्न इट अलोन बट शी नीड सम सपोर्ट टू लर्न इट और टू गेन द न्यू स्किल सो इट इज़ द जे डी पी so now let's learn what scaffolding is scaffolding involves providing temporary support to help a child accomplish a task within their zdp as the child learns to perform the task the support is gradually removed for example a teacher might initially guide a student through a math problem step by step and then encourage independent problem solving as this student gain confidence 
द होल द होल पीरियड इज कॉल्ड द जे डी पी और जोन ऑफ प्रॉक्सिमल डेवलपमेंट बिकॉज द चाइल्ड कैन नॉट लर्न अलोन हाउ टू राइड अ बाईसाइकिल सो शी और ही इज ट्रेन बाय हर पेरेंट एंड द ट्रेनिंग गिवेन बाय हर पेरेंट टू हर इज नोन एज द स्का फोल्डिंग इट इज़ अ टेम्पोरेट सपोर्ट पता है स्का फोल्डिंग का मतलब क्या है स्का फोल्डिंग असल में एक मेटाफर है ऑफ स्का फोल्ड द टेम्पोरेरी प्लेटफॉर्म ऑन विच कंस्ट्रक्शन वर्कर स्टैंड सो लाइक हमने देखा है ना कंस्ट्रक्शन वर्कर जो टेम्पोरेरी प्लेटफॉर्म के ऊपर स्टैंड करके वो जो पेंट लगाते हैं और वो सीमेंट लगाते हैं वो होता है स्का फोल्ड वो होता है स्का फोल्ड एंड स्का फोल्ड सो स्का फोल्डिंग इज ऑल्सो लाइक दैट अ टेम्पोरेरी प्लेटफॉर्म टू हेल्प अ चाइल्ड टू अकम्पलिश देयर टास्क एंड दैट्स इट इट्स वेरी ईजी सो आफ्टर दैट लैंग्वेज a tool for thought vygotsky viewed language as a crucial tool for cognitive development children often talks to themselves when tackling challenges a behavior known as private speech the self directed talks helps them plan and regulate actions eventually evolving into internal thought process yeah language is very important to acquire knowledge like uh, we learn things or we can communicate with our parents with each other through language only like if we don't know any language fir to hame communication bhi nahi aayega to hum kaise sikhenge it's like we learn our like english it's a kind of language our many learn our mother tongue it's a kind of language and through which we can understand each other we can interact with them and is very important and he to increase our knowledge or increase our skills and it is private talk mein kya hota hai private speech or private talk it is a like a it is a, a behavior we all used to do when we are small like uh, i am giving you an example suppose a child is like uh, doing a puzzle so uh, like a uh, that puzzle or the block of that puzzle is not being placed in the right place so the child might say yahan nahi hoga waha hoga aur ye red wala nahi hoga ye blue wala hoga so it's like that so we are doing a private speech like more or less private speech helps us to regulate our actions or do the right behavior or as like impact on our internal thought process shapes cognition according to vygotsky the culture in which a child is raised significantly influence their cognitive development cultural tools like language symbols and traditions provide framework for thinking and problem solving like uh, i am giving you an example like suppose uh, take a child as uh, born in different cultures like ek uh, a child living in a village and a child living in a living in a like city and all that so uh, a child living in a uh, village will follow the occupations of their parents like farming crafting and uh, etc so they are giving more importance to that village life or that village culture but a child living in a society may acquire like skills like going to school gaining academic knowledge going to swimming going to playing going to karate and all that and uh, and yeah this is all a part of their culture and they both have different culture and their priorities are also different from each other so culture is very important because through culture uh, knowledge is like knowledge is passed from one generation to another the knowledge the values the belief system everything is passed from one generation to another and in uh, every time or every generation add new knowledge and skills and pass it to the next generations thus culture influence co- uh, culture influence the cognitive development of a child so what we learned from vygotsky's theory is that the main point is that uh, like we do not think we do not learn thing in isolation rather we learn thing through uh, socially interacting with others like more knowledgeable peers like teachers to uh, teachers like uh, and like parents etc siblings and by questioning them or seeing them how they are doing the things we acquire knowledge or we also know that uh, like learning is a very important thing not for only interacting with others but for gaining knowledge from others and also thinking in our mind language is very important of course and some basic principles of vygotsky is like uh, children construct knowledge through social interactions and like and the thing is that development cannot be separated from social context like if we develop some skills either we have seen 
फ्रॉम अदर्स हाउ पीपल डू हाउ आर पेरेंट्स डू हाउ आर सिबलिंग्स डू लाइक वी कैन नॉट लर्न अ थिंग इन आइसोलेशन नो इफ यू आर नॉट सींग हाउ इफ यू आर नॉट सींग दैट थिंग हाउ यू कैन लर्न इट सो द वीडियो एंड्स हेयर होप यू लाइक इट